y'all, it's Heather from Frugal Southern Living. I am here to tell you what I learned about aerating wine and why you need this Divine Goblet Wine Aerator. So I love wine, and but I don't know much about it. One of the items on my 101 um, things to do in 1001 days is to learn more about wine, so this is a perfect opportunity. For those of you that don't know uh, what wine aerating is, I recently found out that it basically when you're exposing air to your wine, um, mixing it, it enhances the taste and aroma of the wine. So you can do that from what I'm told by swirling your wine and that mixes in the air with it, obviously. Um, but I was given the chance to review this goblet and according to the box here, it actually has three steps. And First it has the umbrella shaped wine sprayer, then it goes through the drizzle plate, and then it's forced air um, vortex. So you can see that in here, that's the first step, and then you have the second step here, and then the wine, or the, I'm sorry, the air comes down, and it forces the air vortex there. Okay, so we're going to taste test some wine here. Uh, the first one is going to be a control sample, because, you know, I can't compare it without knowing what it originally tastes like. Then we're going to try swirling it and see if that makes a difference. And lastly, we're going to use our goblet and see if that makes a difference. So I've got some Chateau Saint Michel Chardonnay here, uh, 2013 vintage. So we are going to test it with this. And pouring the sample. Okay, so we're going to test this without any swirling or aerating. What I am going to do is pour another small sample. Alright, so now to aerate it naturally, all you would do is swirl it. It is supposed to enhance the smell, which I am not smelling yet. It smells about the same. But by um, swirling it, it's enhancing the taste, supposedly, by introducing the air. So let's test it out. Um, I think it tastes a little bit, a little bit the same, but uh, maybe just a tad bit stronger. All right, so now we're going to pour it through our wine aerator. Now, this piece comes apart. That's actually the stand, and this part here is your aerator. All right, so I am just going to set it in here, and we are going to pour it through. You can see it bubbling. back in here for now. And the bottom does actually have a plug so you can, uh, whatever drippings come in here, clean it out. Okay. Actually tastes a lot better. Uh, I can taste the wine actually more and it's not so alcoholy strong. So test it out yourself. As a disclosure, I did receive this in exchange for a fair, honest, and thorough review. However, as always, um, the opinions in this video and review are my own based on my experience. So, enjoy. Cheers!